The number 444 represents archangels who are ready to help you. Uh, let's go through. I've got some very funny ones here. Do let's the just... wild. Uh, uh, this one is hilarious. Iron Patriot. That one's good, too. But okay. also, um, I can't remember the name. I'm just scrolling down. The MME Adam 22 one. Is oh, really good yeah. Too. This one was so nice to see. So on the <laughs> last show, we talked about how Adam 22. The Adam 22. I feel bad, you know, because uh, I, I just made it a joke. I, I don't want Adam to think that I turned down doing his podcast or didn't respond to him or made fun of him. I don't want him to think I did that because of his, uh, you know, his the general thing. hate. The cuck thing. Yeah. I don't want him to think. Oh, he's one of these guys who hates you because he thinks you're a cuck because of the black man that had sex with your wife and all this. We don't care about stuff that. like that. We don't care about that at all. We actually were the only people defending Adam <laughs> 22 during his big incident where that black man did uh, what he did to the wife. Uh, so I, I, I felt bad because I know Adam 22 is sitting at home going, oh, another one of those guys, huh? doesn't appreciate me for who I am, but just good. I hope you don't think that it has nothing to do with that. It's just I cannot be involved in the uh, Adam 22 universe. It seems very harmful for my uh, <laughs> career. Uh, but based on my own personal reasons, uh, no reasons that would ever make sense to you. Okay, so don't feel bad about that. But this one was good, and I love these guys. This is menace material entertainment uh i don't think they're a big podcast they're good, they're Nine, uh, Twenty thousand subs okay but i love them and they should be big because they're good it's three schwarzes okay black black guys which is always super exciting here at red bar it's always i don't know if if black people know this when cool black people talk about pure whites like myself you get very excited, especially when they're complimentary. You get, a rush. You get very excited. It's a big rush, a big thrill, and it feels like you're understood. Okay, it feels like you're, you know, because most black people probably despise white people. So to be liked by any black for any reason is just it feels great to whites. Okay, especially whites that don't hate the nominees. Okay. <laughs> Here they are, and Adam Twenty Two is big in this uh, black community. This gangsta community. I'm just joking. Uh, Adam Twenty Two is big in the black community, and they love clowning and goofing. And so, our Adam Twenty Two, when I brought up that he followed me and messaged me saying, "Let's do a podcast together," I responded to that, and these guys got such a kick out of it. We'll show you the reactions. So cute. So much so that I even want to hire one of these guys. I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, let's check it out. Menace, Mayhem, Mike With from me. Red Bar, Clowns, Adam22, and turns down podcast offers sent from No Jumper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one's funny. <laughs> He's a fan. I, these know. <laughs> I was uh, right. I'll show you uh, the coolest guy here. Let me just make sure we're giving him all the quality we can. You this guy right here guy. is the coolest guy of the group. This guy for sure. This is the guy that I wouldn't mind hiring as my, not co-host, but sidekick. I wouldn't mind having him sit here laughing and going, oh, hell, you're crazy. You know, stuff like that. I think that would be perfect. Look at his, I love his body. I'm he not kidding. Good. I'm not he being, would look really good in clothes. He'd be a great model. He's a great model. Like, look how good that guy could be a celebrity. He looks amazing. He looks incredible. And you'll see once his swag starts revealing itself. Uh, second coolest guy is a tie between these two. Now, I wouldn't say this guy's as TV ready as his friend, but he's good. He's got a great personality. And then this guy, every group needs one. That's all I'll say about him. So listen to these guys. They're going to big kick out of your red bar. OK, bring people together here. <laughs> all right, so uh, Adam22 hit a red bar. See, this is so just red news bar, Mike, People that were well, never responded to him. I don't know if y'all got to see that clip. Nope. But uh, Mike from Red Bar, he uh, hit up. He got hit up by Adam22. Thank you. Adam22 said, let's do a podcast. Is this Adam right there? That's Adam. That nigga look. 
Oh, sick. This guy's the best. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I got one more we're going to show you before Another we go show to break. My clip this one's now. pretty big. Did uh, you want to show that Joey Diaz clip? What's the Joey Diaz clip? Okay, so this is interesting. They're showing my clip now. This is from the podcast where I was dressed up as Dave Attell. <laughs> Will they know that's a date? See, this was my biggest nightmare coming up. Watch this. No. What's the Joey the, Diaz clip? The Joe Rogan one. Oh, about P. Diddy? Mm -hmm. that, we'll do it in a little bit. Let, okay. let me show you this, and then we'll go to break. So, Red Bar is getting pretty big. As you can see, all these people talking about us. Everybody knows about us now. And uh, every day, it's, uh, it's something new. And uh, this one is about as it, big as... And see, in my mind, th these people are watching me with the utmost disgust and hate, <laughs> right? That's what you would think. Like, watching these guys watch, you would think... They hate this. You'll be really surprised at their reaction to this. It gets this next one I'm about to show you. Now, this one comes in the form of an Instagram follow and an Instagram DM. I will say this. It is an unanswered Instagram DM. So they look very Wait bored and see. unhappy, right? I got a follow from this person, which was big enough. Okay, I uh, screenshotted the follow. I put it in the notes. I said, Jules, I can't wait to tell everybody that this person has started. And they've got to hear all these new words like screenshot. You know, so they're very confused right now as to what I'm even saying. This to them is like hearing another language so far. Following me. But usually when somebody starts following me, a few minutes later, I get a message. And I did. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, here oh, is Does he have the biggest one to date. Yeah, I was trying to look and see if that Okay, was so it. they interrupt like the biggest part of the thing and watch what this, this guy says, what he finally notices. Remember, I'm dressed as Dave Attell. Watch these guys. Is Does he have the biggest one to date? Does he have a do rag on? And you do. <laughs> you fucking do. So they don't know that this is a Dave Attell <laughs> costume. My biggest nightmare. <laughs> so people are thinking that I'm just looking like this. See, that's bad. See, you can't do jokes anymore. Does he have a do rag? I love it. Here is Does he have the biggest one to date. Yeah, I was trying to look and see if that was happening. I think he did. Adam. I was looking 22 to see if there was a <laughs> follows you. And this is what he said. Let's do a podcast. <laughs> Let's do a podcast, everybody. Well, I've got the Lisa appointment ready. I'm getting the Lisa. We're going on. I guess I got to do it. I got to have sex with Adam 22. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be me. They love that. I mean, no whites laughed at that. They went, okay. They died laughing. Do you see that? You see how that warms my heart? Watch this again. Have sex with Adam 22. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be me, Jules, <laughs> Melissa, his wife. Adam 22 is going to be fucking Jules. Matt lost Melissa's wife. His wife is not him. See. <laughs> They could only laugh at so much. <laughs> Jules, <laughs> Melissa, his wife, Adam 22 is going to be fucking Jules. I'm going to be fucking that pregnant woman, his wife, and this is going to be all over on But she was pregnant before. It's not Guys, trust me. Fans, and then I'm going to leak it. I'm going to put it out everywhere for free. Adam 22 wants to do a podcast with me. I have not responded. This is my response. Adam, let's do a foursome. Live, no money is needed. I'll do it for publicity, <laughs> and uh, everyone's gonna see. Listen with this. I my, can't wait to see my his butt, big my ass. balls, my tits. Way, we're, we're gonna see it all. All right, we'll take a quick little break. When we come back, the yeah. world. That's how fucked up Adam's reputation is. Is that you can like <laughs> yeah. you can pervert anything he says. <laughs> yeah, damn, it just man. works. It just, it just lands <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and it's great. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. So it, like he, he he built it up with a plot. Three to seconds in, but nah, that shit was. I love these guys. Shout out to uh, 
Red Bar. Shout out to Red Bar, man. And Hell yeah. Funny as shit. I wonder if uh, the waves are already better than all white mans. <laughs> Well, did he ever listen, wear a durag? He was wearing he was a durag. Wearing, yeah, durag. Like, he was wearing. Yeah, like a it cap. might not have been a. It was a cap. It might it have been like a, a skull cap. cap. Yeah, yeah. It might have been a skull cap. See? Might have been. That's why I need. Imagine this guy's innocence right here as my sidekick, respected sidekick, by the way. Adam Friedland shows our sister show. This is our brother show. Our brother show. I love, love it. Them. The wave, yeah. the wave yeah. cap. Yeah. Malibu's most wanted. Listen to this. <laughs> Yeah, he was dressed like a fucking undercover. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> he was dressed like an undercover. My biggest nightmare. Yeah, I don't know why he was dressed like a fucking <laughs> <fetish. laughs> He was dressed like an informant. He was dressed yo, like an informant. That's a fact. Yeah. The niggas are saying, yo, you, you know where drugs are at? <laughs> Sick, can I get some crack, please? <laughs> the most sober crackhead ever, nigga. Oh, man. He had Thank that God fiddle. you're at. <laughs> See, to them, I sound really sober because I'm speaking so clear. <laughs> yeah, like, he he definitely <laughs> had that wire on. And they could have been anybody. He's doing, yeah, nah, he's doing patrol. Okay, David Tell, you see this? You're not recognizable to the black community. This is more of a diss at David Tell, not being as famous as he thinks he is in this white comedy scene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I, wonder why, I wonder why Adam would even want to talk to, I wonder what they're going to talk about. Nigga, there's so much to talk about if they if they actually sit down. But he's like, I didn't answer this DM. This is my answer. Mm. <laughs> let's yeah. let's have a foursome. Yeah, let's have sex. <laughs> <laughs> they love that. <laughs> so I have to have sex with Adam. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. Let's have a foursome, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nah, he made that shit. He's, he going on plug talk. <laughs> 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 oh, God, oh, God. you're welcome, guys. Anytime you guys need a laugh. Let me know. I'd love to. And everyone go give Menace Material True Entertainment. True Menace, true try. Menace Audio. Material Entertainment. Thank you guys so much for coming. And uh, great friendship we're building with those guys. I love I that. That was so nice. But again, yes, I don't want Adam22 to think it was because of what all those other people said about him. I just don't do podcasts or talk to people of that level i i really won't even engage with people of that level i feel like it's a conflict of interest here at red bar to talk to people like that okay so you gotta a lot of people would love to go on adam 22 show pick up uh 11k new subs not me however i'm willing to go on one show you could cut to me i'm willing to go on the aiden ross stream <laughs> Because look what arrived in the mail the other day. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Aiden Ross st- started his own uh, clothing line, not just merch. You guys know Aiden Ross from uh, Kick. Um, he started his own clothing line called Risk. Uh, uh, Brand Risk. That's what it's called. Brand Risk. And of course, we uh, jumped on the opportunity. This finally came in. We ordered this like a, about a month ago, maybe a two ago. Wait till you see this shirt. What do you think? Fuck. <laughs> Brand Risk. And look at the back. The back's. Jesus Christ. Even more trouble. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this a vibe or. And look what it's got on it. I can see you Hard. wearing that. Honestly, it's not. Yeah, it's not so bad. Now that I, I see mean, it on the it's show, so bad. But it's not beyond the realm. What do you guys think? Wear this under. Wear, wear this under a shirt one day, or toss it up. Now I will say this: we're not uh, cheap championing championing it today, because I could already tell you it's not going to go on the on the board. It's thick. It's thick. It's nice. It's well. It's not nice, but it's up to date. It's up to style with the uh, thickness. And the collar thickness that you would want and the sizing. And it would be a, a shirt that's definitely going to last longer than those other guys. <laughs> um, and it was, I think it was like 80 bucks for this. Jeez, really? Oh, yeah, because look at this printing. And well, this printing is costing him $20 thick. a shirt his cost. So there it was for those of you who wanted that uh, brand Risk. And thank God you only ordered a Victorville Film Archive sweatshirt and I not a t-shirt. I heard this. Do we have that uh, Facebook post? Maybe we could cover this just so people know that I'm fair. We're very uh, sad to hear about this. Um, the Victorville Film Archive kind of screwed. I did put it in screwed. the notes, but I'll try to find it. Yeah, see if you could find that. Um, 
on cinema, the on cinema universe, Tim Heidecker's on cinema with uh, Turkington, of course. <laughs> they came out with all this great merch. Now, I ordered $125 worth of on cinema merch. That has not arrived yet. I hope that's still on the way because if other people are getting their stuff. But we were, uh, I have not gotten my on cinema merch yet. Uh, 125 bucks worth of it. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying somebody else did get one of their items. It was a Victorville Film Archive <laughs> t-shirt. Is this uh, in my messages? Let me uh, minimize something here that's all screwy. Okay. Is this it here? Let's find out. Yes. Okay. So it was really sad to see this. We got to cover it because we cover everybody's merch. Uh, maybe this could be uh, covered in a helpful way. <laughs> so this isn't, oh, there's Justin. This isn't a t-shirt. This is a sweatshirt. So we, it doesn't qualify for uh, God. Cheap yeah. Champion. So I can't officially uh, weigh it. But look at this from Alex Wright. He says, I got my Victorville Film Archive merch today. It's brand new. I know Mike talked about the merch on a recent app, but I don't recall if it was before or after he received it. This is the cheapest piece of shit sweater I've ever bought with <laughs> horrible stitching and an ironed on logo that will definitely come off after one wash. I was fooled by the bit. Greg is in character selling garbage for his fake company. See, this is what happens when and you they make a show single... When you have a single Look at ally this. out Look here, Look what they're showing. They That's damning. Down. That's damning. So here's the sweatshirt. Um, yeah, that's... I don't know. That doesn't look like an iron-on to me, though. That looks like screen printing. I could see the... Uh, that's screen printing. Uh, it's a shame, you know, and I have many... I knew what I was buying. I actually have many sweatshirts in the same color. I have a Tucson one <laughs> that I was thinking about wearing today. It did not look good enough for the show but that is a shame to hear um yeah everybody's this is what everybody does this is what i'm saying this is what i've been screaming about so hopefully tim sees this he you know stops uh what would you call that stops shuts down the factory i want to be wearing my whole from head to my feet victorville film archive merch Somebody says, no more Victorville <laughs> Film Archives shirts. I wanted to get another Victor Victorville Film Archives yellow shirt, but they're gone, did Tim? Oh, somebody says, good, they're junk. I wouldn't wash my Kawasaki with that thing. Get yourself a nice Rio. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> very sad to see, very disappointing. You have and to help them because I want the best on cinema merch that exists. That's this the thing is I what I'm complaining every about. Day. I want them to print on the nicest quality stuff so that I could actually wear it and enjoy it. But it looks like that's not going to be. Whoops, sorry about that. Not going to be happening. Nigga. Nigga. Yeah. Knock, knock. Just ugly. Who's there? A murderer. Murderer who? Let's kill Logic's kid. <laughs> Logic baby ugly. 